Okay, so if you take a close look at your hotel bill, some of them you might have noticed have a charge for these so-called resort fees, those mandatory charges that weren't so obvious when you initially booked the room, but definitely bring your total price up a notch. Our consumer investigator Hank Winchester shows us how some customers are now fighting back against them. A hotel room you book may quote you one price, but what you may not know is that there could be big hidden fees and they can add up quickly. Important information that you need to be aware of this morning. It's become a fact of life. Hotel adding charges to the final bill, what's now called the resort fee. The Chavez family booked a night at a Las Vegas hotel. The room advertised as low as $29. They discovered the final bill included a $32 resort fee. Isn't that what they call bait and switch? They questioned the fee and went back and forth with the hotel clerk. What is that for? Oh, for the pool. Well, I don't use the pool. This is well, it's for the other things, the other amenities, what amenities. If you want to go out and play tennis, the towels. A New York University study estimates hotels here in the U.S. collect more than a billion dollars a year in these fees. Experts say third-party booking sites sell rooms so low that hotels then drive the prices back up with non-negotiable resort fees. The Hotel and Lodging Association says resort fees are clearly and prominently displayed by hotel websites prior to the end of the booking process. Online booking sites, they say, should be held to the same standards of transparency. While the hotel industry appears to be unwilling to budge on resort fees, it may soon have no choice. That's because in Washington, there is now pending legislation that would make surprise resort fees on your bill illegal. Resort fees are deceptive, it's unfair, and it's wrong. U.S. Representative Jeff Fortenberry now pushing for a federal law. Treat hotels like the airlines, where a ticket guarantees your seat on a plane. It's a perfect analogy. Just tell us what the price is, period. And again, this creates a level playing field so that people can actually compare when they're shopping, particularly online. From her kitchen, attorney Lauren Wolf launched the website killresortfees.com after contesting a $20 additional resort fee when she traveled to Key West. She says some hotels even hide resort fees. For example, in New York, one hotel labels it a New York City mandatory facility hotel fee. It sounds like a government cost, but Lauren says it is not. It is not. It's part of the room rate that they're breaking out into a fee and making it look like a tax. Resort fees, that tiny print that you should check out before you check in. We have more advice from travel industry experts. What you need to know before you make those hotel reservations. Everything can be found right on the Help Me Hank page at clickondetroit.com. I'm consumer investigator Hank Winchester. Help Me Hank.